Well, I hope your week one went well and you're getting some running in and hopefully doing some of the strengthening ex exercises. Um, remember, with your warm-up, do as much as you can. You can still do the hurdle mobility without the hurdles. You can just go through the motions. That'll help your hips stay flexible. This week, um, if you look at Monday, it's pretty self-explanatory. Remember your, your strength videos now. If you go to the school website, you'll find on the cross-country page, there's some links to some videos here, so you can use those. And you'll find some probably that you'll like more than others. But again, it's just to work on some strength and some core. On Tuesday, you're going to have a one-mile time trial. And if you have a GPS watch, you can use that. You can go up on the track and run it um, wherever you choose. You want to run it. Find some flat surface and run your hardest and write down your time. So then you can go through, say that you have your time now is a 6.05. Okay, that will be your one-minute time trial. You're going to take this 6.05 and you're going to use it throughout the next week or so. Okay, then on Wednesday, it says you have four miles at 65 to 70% of your one-minute time trial. Refer to the pace calculator for help. Okay, so my pace was 6.05. So I'm going to go look at what my pace is going to be for this four miles. I'm going to go to the school website. At the bottom, there is a pace calculator. I'm going to click on that, and it'll come as a download. I will open that up. And it looks like I already had one open, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to put in six minutes and five seconds. And I'm going to put it at 70%. And you can see that my pace for those four miles should be right around eight minutes and 41 seconds. So then I will go back into my workout sheet and I'm going to put eight. 41. So I'm going to try to stay around that pace for those four miles. Okay, and everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Again, on Thursday, you're going to do the same thing. So my pace, again, is going to be the same. It's going to be an 841. On Friday, it says two miles at anaerobic threshold pace. Check the pace chart. Okay, I'm going to go back into the school website into the cross country one and there is a pace chart at the bottom so if i ran a 605 yep i can find it here 605 you can see that if i scroll over here here's my anaerobic threshold pace i'm going to try to run between a 720 and a 735 for this run 720 to 735. So again, here will be a 720 to 735. And I'm going to try to work those two miles and keep it within this pace. And then again, you can see that you will keep using this 605 that you created up here, that you ran up here, for the rest of your workouts. And you will keep using that until you have another time trial. Good luck. Have fun.